here to do a spray tanning demonstration. So I just wanted to start with the supplies you're gonna need. Um, obviously you'll need gloves. You don't wanna get tanning all over your hands when you do this. I use a mask because the spray tan tends to go up your nostrils and it gets caught along the side of your nose, especially if you have dry skin. Sometimes I end up with like two brown marks. So I use my mask. You're gonna need lotion as a barrier cream. So um, I'll demonstrate this with the model. Okay, so this pH balancing spray is pretty awesome by Norvell. I really like it. I spray it on right before we spray tan and it can even be just a little bit damp. It doesn't have to dry completely and you can just start spraying over it. So it really helps your tan come out smoother and just uh, sometimes there's splotches and it, it helps smooth all of that out. Pretty much just have a big bin of all of my supplies because it gets messy. The tan kind of tends to get all over the place, so I just keep everything in the bin. Okay, so we've got our tanning kit set up here, our tanning tent, and I basically put a, a, a towel, like an old towel, inside the tent, and I also put a towel outside the tent because you wanna have somewhere to step onto afterwards. Um, the tanning it does get everywhere. Um, when your person is standing in, or when you're standing inside the, the tent, if you step on this, you know, if you've already tanned and then you step on this black part, it's gonna get all over the bottom of your feet. So just keep that in mind. That's why I put a clean towel down every time. Um, the tanning comes out pretty easily. It's pretty forgiving. So I use the same towel. I throw it in the washer. I just bleach it, put it back down for next time. Um, but you don't want the tan all over the bottom of your feet. It just gets, like your feet look really bad. <laughs> You'll have your spray tan gun. So this equipment is a little bit cumbersome. So I keep it in a nice storage bin, like I said, with all of the supplies. Your tanning kit's gonna come with a couple of these containers. So what I do is I usually fill the chamber and I spray tan, but then if there's, you know, maybe there's still some left in there. So what you do is you just unscrew the thing and you put the top on and you save it for next time. So you can see there's some in here from last time, just so I don't waste it. You can pour it back into the original tanning solution bottle, but it's sometimes hard and I just like to keep it in a storage container. It's easier to just pop the gun off for next time, you know, and just like switch them out. Okay, so I just filled the container with tanning solution. Pop the gun on there. And again, if you don't use all of this, you can take this gun off the top and put just a regular top on to save it for next time. Okay, so I got the gun, I'm gonna connect it. It's really easy. That's it. So let me show you my motion when I do the tan. So my think the gun's here, obviously. There's a little, um, a little knob right here you can twist and that'll give it more or less spray tan. So I usually twist it to about the middle and, and then I just kind of do a test before I start and make sure it's spraying nicely. So kind of feel that, that's too loose, that's too tight. Okay, I put it in the middle, okay? So that's what that is. And now I'm not gonna turn it on yet. I'm just gonna show you what I do, like kind of how I do it with my, my finger motion. So you wanna start off the skin and when you spray, so you're off the skin, you wanna start spraying. So you pull the gun and all the way off the skin and then you let go. So it's kind of like, like if you could, sorry for the sound effects. <laughs> if you can see how my, my finger is starting the spray and then letting go. This is all fake right now, obviously, but gun it off the skin, go all the way over the skin you want, and then once you're off the skin again, let go. So it's like on and off, like that sort of motion. This little paint roller is awesome to smooth out the tan. If you get little splotches or like a water hits it or something, and you just need to like fix it or touch it up, using this or a cosmetic sponge, I have both on the, on the document, um, but if you can get your hands on one of these and use this to smooth out the tan, it's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting some barrier cream on our lovely model, Sarah. You're basically trying to block the dry skin so the tan doesn't just stick on it. You wanna put it all over your fingers, fingertips, and kind of along the edges, along your, the palm of your hand here, and then same thing with your toes. If you don't use a mask, you're gonna end up with spray tan nostrils. All right, we're gonna spray Sarah with this pH balancing spray. I love this spray, it really helps the tan sit, go on smoothly and stay on longer. Now when I first turn the gun on, you want to clear it, okay? So after you clear it, make sure it's coming out uh, uh, smoothly.
you want to do is be careful. You don't want to get too close to her skin with this hair because it will push the tan around and make a funny mark. So I just keep it, you know, maybe a foot away from it, 12 inches away. Now this is just an everyday tan I'm doing on her. I'm doing one coat. She should be dry in half an hour or whatever. Um, if this was for a competition tan, this would be the first coat, and then you would follow instructions to do the three days in a row. The tan okay. will develop. Um, I'm using Norvell, uh, Norvell Venetian on her, Venetian Plus, it's in the document, and it develops overnight, so it'll be darker in six to eight hours, but when she wakes up tomorrow, it'll be really dark. So then I always have a towel nearby so that they can wipe their hands off, or I can wipe my hands off, whoever's getting spray tan. Be careful not to wipe the tan off, but it, it is really forgiving around here. If you wake up in the morning and there's marks, you can just get, after you rinse, or depending on if you're rinsing or not, you can just shimmy your skin with lotion, kind of, and it's really forgiving and it blends. Oh my great job, taking off. Okay, it creases. A tip on not getting your feet nasty is that I always put this towel down because if you step in the black mark area after the spray tan has been going, the film will just get all over the bottom of your feet. So make sure you have your model or whoever's being spray tan stand on the towel because not too bad. yeah, her feet are pretty good. Sometimes it gets really gross. Yeah, I like black. And keep in mind if you're doing this in your in your garage or even if you're doing it in a hotel room, there does get a film. There is a film of of tan around. Oh, my husband's standing here, he's not gonna oh, like great. this. There's a film, so just be aware, you don't wanna do a tan in a garage that has a car in it. You wanna be careful, if you take your tanning, you know, if you travel and you do it in a hotel room, you need to wipe the counters down because it will show up. I mean, there's some tan around here, there's not tons of stuff in here that, in our garage, that's gonna get ruined by a little film of tan that, that wipes off, it's pretty forgiving, like I keep saying, but just be aware, where you're tanning, it's gonna land on, you know, it's a mist going into the room, so. Okay, so one thing, and this is kind of funny, but you want to make sure that, especially if you're competing or going to the beach, or, you know, you're going to wear a bathing suit with this spray tan, if you're just standing straight like this, you're going to get a little bit of wrinkles. So have your, whoever's being spray tan, bend over a little bit so it smooths out right along this area, and then you can spray tan and, and it won't give, you know, give that funny little crease. One more thing, I, did, I didn't use this on Sarah today because I didn't need to, it didn't get smudged, but again, if she, if, if the tan is smudging, you do want to just use this to smooth it out. It's super forgiving. So you just spray, smooth that out a little bit. This is a great tool if, they're, if there's a smudge. Now I'm just going to clean the gun. That's really important. You want to make sure to clean the gun or else it'll get all goopy inside and it'll get um, backed up and you won't be able to use it. The spray won't come through. So that pours out there. So what I do is I switch out the container every time. That much was left over. Put the top on. Make sure it's tight. Put that in the bin for next time. Make sure it's upright so it doesn't spill out. And then I'm gonna take a new container and fill this with water and spray out the gun. Okay, now this is just filled with water. We're gonna spray it out, just clear it. 